What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the CFL Podcast, where Jackson State fans, it's not a it's not a surprise anymore, right? It shouldn't be surprising to you anymore. You got another four star receiver coming at your door, right? The receiving room is want could the the receiving room would most likely be wanted by a bunch of Group of Five FBS schools right now. That's how good it is, right? At least on paper, that's how good it is. Now, this kid. This four-star receiver who's coming from the SEC goes by the name of Rico Powers. Rico Powers is only a redshirt sophomore, right? At 6'2", 180 pounds, he's a dog. He's quick. He's decisive. His routes are crisp, right? But let me let me tell you more about him. He comes from the University of South Carolina, right? You get another SEC guy. Now, in nine games as a true freshman, that's what, that's what he played in his freshman year. He played nine games as a true freshman. So he didn't redshirt his freshman year um, in 2020. But he did, he did redshirt it his sophomore season. He only played in two games in his sophomore season. So that was able to count as a redshirt for him. So he's a redshirt sophomore. Now, uh, quite a few kids have been leaving, have been leaving uh, Coach Beamer and that uh, Gamecock program. So it's, it's not really... I don't know what's going on over there, but it's not really a surprise to me that, you know, this kid is one of the ones who left. Now, nationally, going back to his time as a four-star prospect, he was ranked 304 in the country, almost top 300, right? Um, He was 51 at wide receiver in the nation, and he was the 30th best prospect in the state of Georgia. Now, he comes from his, I think his hometown is Savannah, Georgia. Shout out to Savannah. Not far from there. Um, This receiver, my man. Teams need to find out how they're going to how they're going to stop that because Jackson State could literally rotate anybody they want to in and out their receiving core and not miss a beat. They can and, and they, they won't miss a beat. Understand that this Shadour is expected to have a four thousand yard season. So many things are expected to happen. Like y'all, just let me know what you think about this down below in the comment section. All right, because. I ain't meant to go forever on it. But with that being said, you're watching the CFL podcast. I go by the name of Kobe. I'm out.